I had a great time at the library. It's certainly a place I could easily spend half a day and not even know it. Before I left, I noticed more great paintings. These were from the original Wizard of Oz book. And then I ran into longtime resident and local historian Joe Dittler, who told me that the Wizard of Oz author, L. Frank Baum, actually lived in a house right down the street. So of course, I made him take me there. From the library, Joe and I headed to Star Park, which is located right down the street. And there it was. Well, here's the thing about the Wizard of Oz house and L. Frank Baum and the whole Wizard of Oz legend. Uh, did Coronado inspire the Wizard of Oz? Yes and no. The first book was already written when he had come here in 1904, and he was here until 1910. But he didn't write that book here. It was inspired by the, uh, the great Chicago World's Fair. What did inspire him were subsequent books, subsequent novels, uh, along the same vein of The Wizard of Oz. He also wrote a lot of poetry here. I mean, the inspiration that he got from Coronado is so well documented. Um, he did live in this house. He did write a lot of his work in this house. Um, he was inspired by Star Park and by the Hotel Dell and by the beach. He wrote a beautiful poem, a beautiful short story about the wobble bug uh, based upon an adventure he had on the beach with a little girl that he'd met on the beach who was asking what this crab was. Uh, there's so many great stories. Did he inspire Coronado? Yes. Did Coronado inspire him? By all means. Uh, it's one of the proud um, pieces of the past here in Coronado that we had L. Frank Baum here and that we know so much about him and what he did when he was here. Oh look, there's Pike. There's the owner. Let's see if we can say hello. Do you all want right. To come on. Sounds good. Pike Powers Mead and Jane Reynolds Mead have been living in this house for quite some time and they love it. Right away you notice there's something special going on here. I guess you can say, from a young age, Jane's future in Coronado has always been in the cards. And my grandfather won the bet, and they moved out here. In fact, the, the house is still here, right here in Coronado. He moved to a house he won in a poker game. He moved to a house with all of the kids. <laughs> wow. And we were all kind of, that's all started about raising all of us. What a we lucky were hand. Coronado. I know. <laughs> now, for the past six generations, the whole family is still in Coronado. Lucky you. Good for you. Very lucky. Yes. And uh, we have five kids, and we were, they were all raised here. Mm. And they love it. And being Coronado kids, they come over all the time. Mm. And all their babies, we had every second about them because they were right here when they were born. Oh, Isn't what a that blessing. lucky? That is so good. I love that. I know. That. It really is good. How cool is that? Since she was a young girl, Jane has always had her eye on this house, not knowing it was the L. Frank Baum house. And when she found out, it just made it all the more special. Pike and Jane are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet. <laughs> <laughs>